What is going on everybody? Liam Mitchell back with another video and today is a very good day. What a win for the Bucks, 46 to 23 on the road against the division rival Carolina Panthers. We get to 7 and 3 on the season. First time we've been that good through 10 games since 2010, a decade. We've beaten Carolina now for the last 5 times we've played them. We swept them for the first time since 2016. What a performance today. Play of the game. Ronald Jones, a 98-yard run. What a play. I was going absolutely crazy when it happened. For the longest time, I've sat here and wondered, you know, I wonder when a Buccaneers runner is finally going to bust a 90-yarder. And sure enough, it happens today. One of the four longest runs in NFL history. It was an absolute thing of beauty. So players of the game, first and foremost, Ronald Jones. Obviously, the worst play of the game was his fumble early on. Wanted to tear the guy's head off after that happened. It's his second fumble in an early possession, backed up in our own territory now for the second time in the last three weeks. But boy, did he redeem himself. Not only with that run, but throughout the rest of the game, he had another almost 100 yards. 192 total yards on the ground for Ronald Jones. The Bucks ran the ball really well today, over 200 yards as a team. So shouts out, player of the game, Ronald Jones. Hands down to you, sir, for your 192-yard performance and 98-yard run. Second, guys, I want to shout out. AQ Shipley and Ryan Jensen, big time, big job, big good work today by AQ Shipley stepping in and then Ryan Jensen shifting over to right guard uh, while Ali Marpet was out for the second straight game. Those guys really stepped up. Alex Kappa had some good blocks today. Shout out to the whole O-line, much better performance today. I think Tom only had took one sack. So O-line, just like that every week, man. Great job. On the defensive side of the ball, player of the game on defense, got a shout out my guy JPP, had that one sack later in the game, and then of course he got that interception, even though he's missing a couple fingers. He should have had one last week against the Saints, so he redeemed himself, got some vengeance on that dropped one last week, uh, but that was an awesome play immediately following the 98-yard touchdown by Ronald Jones. But just looking at these stats, man, 544 yards of offense to Carolina's 187. They are lucky this game wasn't even more of a blowout. Talking of another good player that I want to shout out, Ryan Suckup. You know, I don't want to say we've really found our kicker. We've got a long way to go this season. You never know. So knock on wood, but man, he's been making all his kicks this year. Obviously, that extra point got blocked. It happens. Not really his fault, but again, made his field goals. So yeah, 544 yards to 187. The Panthers are lucky we didn't drop 50 on them. Uh, third down conversions were huge in this game. Bucks went 10 of 16, while Carolina went 1 of 9. Uh, I mean, that's big right there. That's staying on the field and getting Carolina off the field. Just a phenomenal job on third down. And then Tom Brady, I think, with a great bounce back performance. Did he miss a couple throws on some deep balls? Sure, it happens. But overall, I mean, what can you ask for? He threw for 341 yards, four total touchdowns, spread the ball out fantastically. Chris Godwin, 92 yards. Mike Evans, 77 yards. I think uh, AB had 69. Gronk had 51. Uh, touchdown passes to three different receivers and then took one in him, him, took one in himself. Just, just a great bounce back performance. I came out with that other video about bounce back wins. Well, you can add that one to the list. Now the 20th bounce back win after the Bucks have been blown out by 25 or more points the week before. Just, just fantastic, man. Uh, next week, we got the Rams, who had a big win today over the Seahawks at home. Uh, so hopefully we can go in there. on You know, prime time, we've struggled. It's no secret. We have struggled in prime time, this year especially. Obviously getting blown out by the Saints, losing to the Bears on Thursday night, and getting pretty darn lucky against a, a, a pretty poor Giants team a couple weeks ago. So... Big game on Monday against the Rams. You know, we're, we're believe it or not, even though we're 0-2 against the Saints, there is obviously still a chance if the Saints lose games and we win games that we can still win this division. And no matter what, I think this team is well on their way to the playoffs. Great performance today. You know, I'm thinking about possibly doing a live, you know, a lot of YouTubers do like the live reaction uh, while the game's going on and there's like a live game chat on the side. So I'm thinking about doing that on Monday night and maybe other games going forward. 
So let me know down below what you guys think about that idea. That could be kind of cool. could be fun. Uh, anyway, great win today for the Bucks. Let's keep it going. Go Bucks.